In this video, I'm going to talk about the use of two string, uh, actually a little more advanced use of two string. We're going to concatenate or build strings from strings. Um, so in this program, I have a, when I was, I'm going to model a classroom. I'm going to have a student class, which represents a student with a string and a grade level. Uh, I'm going to have a constructor here that's going to set the student's name and grade level. And this class, the student class is going to have its own two string, which it's basically going to print out the student's name and the grade level. Then I'm going to build a classroom of students using an array list. So I have a constructor that's uh, going to create a new array list. I want to have an add student method that adds a student to the class. And then I'm actually going to write a two string for the classroom that calls the two string of the student and goes through and builds a class roster. So it's going to look something like this. I'm going to create a classroom with four students, names and grade levels. And then I'm simply going to print out the classroom. Notice how the classroom is the word Lou, Lou's classroom. I'm just going to print it out, which the intent of this is to go through and just print out all the students in the class, meaning there's implicitly a two string method for the Lou object, which I really don't need to write. It's uh, understood. So how do I write that method? Let's go to the classroom class. So right now I have a dummy uh, set of coder that returns a uh, empty string so it compile. But what I really want to do is I want to cycle through the students in the classroom and build a string of all their names and then return that string. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build, I mean, I'm going to create a temporary string. Then I'm going to cycle through for each student S in my class. Remember, my class is in this classroom. One, two, three. And what I want to do is I'm going to, as I cycle through, plus equals each student, calling two string on each of them. And I'm going to also add in here a new line or the next line so that they print on one line per student. And after I go through all of the students in my class, I'll return that string that I just built. So basically I'm I'm adding or concatenating strings upon strings, just adding them and stringing them together, stringing strings together. <clears throat> so let me compile this, no errors, and go back and compile everything. And then remember the driver is four names and I'm simply gonna print the classroom. So I'm gonna run this. And when I do it, you can see that the classroom the classroom's two-string method called each student's two-string method and classroom made a larger string based on students and printed it out. So this two-string was, method was called by the classroom two-string. In fact, I actually don't even need to write this. Um, because the compiler knows that if I'm trying to print a string out or get the string part of it, because I'm dealing with strings here, it knows or it's smart enough to know I'm calling two string. So I compile that and do it again. It still works. Of course, you can always put the two string in there if it's a little clearer to you so that you know which two string is calling which two string. So that's a little more advanced example of how I can call one two string from another two string in another class.